Welcome to IDEF exhibition, Army Recognition. So we are very happy to host you at the FNSS boot for this year. So we will start with the Kaplan medium tank. This time we have the serial production configuration. This is the first sample of the serial production. So serial production is still going on at FNSS and both PT Pindat, which we are actually building those vehicles for Army of Indonesia together with our partner. PT Pindat. The medium tank is fitted with a cocktail turret, which is 105 from Belgium. The vehicle itself and the hull itself is completely designed by FNSS and this vehicle will be delivered in a few years time to Indonesian Army. We have the Marine Assault Vehicle now here, just next to me, and that vehicle was especially designed and built for the Turkish Navy and the Naval Infantry. This vehicle is a complete armored amphibious vehicle. This one is completely designed and manufactured by FNSS. We will be uh, very happy to deliver all these to the Turkish Marines for the new upcoming LPT ship for the Turkish Navy. So here we have weapon carrier vehicle. The program name is weapon carrier vehicle, but actually this is a anti-tank vehicle from a weapon carrier program for the Turkish Ministry of Defense Industries. It has two configurations of these remote control turrets. The one you are seeing here is the Cornet configuration, but we have another one which is built by the Turkish company Rocket Sun with the OMTAS configuration. And that one is fitted on the wheeled version of this anti-tank vehicles. It is fully amphibious, amphibious without any preparation. It has a mine and ballistic protection all around. This is the new launch vehicle by FNSS. So this is a fully autonomous remote controlled vehicle. We named it as Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider is a concept, but we can actually add this configuration to any type of vehicle which you are seeing here. So it is a autonomous and a remote control kit which we can actually add to any armored combat vehicle which we have in our range. Another FNSS turret which is a 25 millimeter turret. We cannot share so much information for this turret. It has some surprises inside it, but we will be able to reveal it in a few years. Another one which we are showcasing at IDEF 21 is the PARS-4, PARS-4 6x6 Special Operations Vehicle. This is also a contracted vehicle for the Turkish Special Forces. This vehicle was built with all the protection, mobility and firepower in addition with the mission systems which is specially requested by the Special Forces. You may be able to see the RPG net which is all around the vehicle but beyond that this vehicle has a very high standard mine and IED protection like what we have in MRAP vehicles. So it's very close to MRAP vehicles today. Another thing which is very special of this vehicle is the remote weapon stations which is integrated from the front and the rear side on the, of the vehicle and it has a two gunner which has a front gunner sitting next to the driver whatever the driver sees in real time the front gunner sees it has a front and rear axle steering with the front and rear axle steering it has a very small turning radius within the urban environments and especially low infrastructure terrains with this capabilities we think that we build a up uh, standard vehicle for Turkish Special Forces. It's another configuration of the PARS-4, but this time it is the 8x8 version. Both vehicles have similar features, but the drive system is 8x8 on this vehicle with the 35mm remote control turret, which gives it ultimate firepower. And that turret also is an FNSS product, which is called the Teber 35. We have some features with this vehicle. Kamikaze drones and surveillance drones can be installed with the protection, mobility, firepower and mission equipment with this vehicle. We think that this vehicle will be the future vehicle for the uh, future requirements for any armies around the world. And next we have the PAR Scout, which is the 6x6 vehicle we have built for the Turkish land forces. So that's also an ongoing program. This vehicle is a 6x6, but it also has an 8x8 configuration with it. What is special about this vehicle is the complete drive line of this vehicle and the mobility system, subsystems on this vehicle is localized by FNSS with the local industry. In the near future, with which we will install the new Tumosan, a local engine to this vehicle, and, and also with the armor pack which we have on this vehicle will be together work with the local industry in the country. We are pretty much proud of the mobility performance of the systems which we have added to this vehicle. We will start the serial production for the Turkish land forces. Another vehicle at FNSS stand is the anti-tank 
configuration of the weapon carrier program, which is the wheeled one, is the PARS 4x4 anti-tank vehicle. On this vehicle, you'll be able to see an anti-armor guided weapon system with AATGM, which is built by Roketsan, another Turkish company. That's called the OMTAS. It is a modular remote controlled anti-tank weapon system, which can fire both Cornet and OMTAS missiles. So on this one, we will be able to showcase the OMTAS configuration of the vehicle. They are currently using these vehicles with the Army for uh, our homeland security. Then the last vehicle is the 6x6, so let's move to the last vehicle together and see what's going on there. The PARS 3 6x6 is the vehicle which we have already delivered to Army of Oman with the contract with together with 8x8 and 6x6 vehicles. Now, the one behind me is uh, very close to the configuration which we have delivered to Omani Army, Royal Omani Army. With this vehicle we are showcasing on this IDEF is with the remote-controlled weapon station Sabre Turret, which is built and designed by FNSS. Another new product which we are showcasing on this show is together with the 6x6 Pars 3 is the Sabre 25mm remote-controlled turret. It has a 25mm Bushmaster cannon and with a Coaxial 7.62 machine gun on it. And the turret is also ballistic protected and it is completely designed by FNSS and verified by FNSS. Thank you so much for Army Recognition, for coming and visiting our stand at FNSS in IDEF 2021.